Chapter 66 A Beautiful Woman as an Accompaniment Kang Chon, I remember you. Jin's disgrace today will be returned a hundredfold in the coming day. Wu Fei's eyes were filled with the color of resentment, leaving behind a vicious sentence and leaving in a sorry state. Outside the martial arts arena, the crowd was shocked. Wu Fei, who was a five-turn Qingdon, actually lost to a mysterious youth whose name was not known, which really made them surprised and shocked. I really looked away this time. This son's strength is not below the great Tang Seven, an old generation expert exclaimed. It's still Flower Fairy who has the vision to spot this son's extraordinary at once. The latter waves of the Yangtze River push the former waves forward. Some of the older generation experts shook their heads and sighed. Their time was far gone, it was now the time of the young. As the battle came to an end, the crowd outside the arena left in droves. It could be imagined that after this battle, Kang Chon's nascent fame would at least resound in Fengdu City. At the time, when the Heavenly Tao Sex Disciple Acceptance Ceremony was coming up, any young expert in the cultivation world who appeared would receive attention from all sides. After all, these people might be the disciples of the Heavenly Tao Sect in the future. This was a great era for young people. Inside the Hao Yu Residences restaurant, the bustle resumed once again, as Kang Tian and Hua Qianrong laughed and talked with each other learning quite a few important things about the cultivation world from her. Prince Kang Chon, that Wu Fei is a villain. Today you have offended him. He will definitely not let up. In addition, this person's elder brother is the overlord warrior Wu Gang. His strength has already reached the peak of the seventh turn. He will come to Fengdu City in the next few days. You have to be careful. Frauer thinking Rong's beautiful eyes implied a trace of guilt, after all, Kang Tian's enmity with Wu Fei was because of her. Peak of the seventh turn, worthy of being the great Tang Seven. Kang Tian's eyes flashed. The cultivation world was not a small place like Heavy Iron City. As soon as he came out, he encountered experts like Wu Fei and Hua Wanyong. And there would be more and more. In the future, which gradually made him feel a trace of pressure. Nowadays, Kang Chon's cultivation was at the peak of the third turn, and with the two great aptitudes of the Overlord Fist and the Heaven Escaping Hand, as well as the talent of Kang Chon's hegemonic blood, he was completely confident to fight with the seventh turn powerhouses. However, in this cultivation world, there were many others stronger than him. Just to say that the four masters of the Imperial Capital were not something he could fight against right now. Don't worry, Flower Fairy. I don't like to cause trouble, but I'm not afraid of it either. If they want to fight, I will accompany them. Kang Tian said indifferently, a powerful confidence flowing from his eyes. Flower thinking Rong's beautiful eyes flashed with a bright light when she heard this. The two of them talked freely once more, and then they went their separate ways. Kid, you don't socialise with such a beautiful girl. Maybe you'll be able to hold a beauty. On the way to the residential courtyard, Emperor Dan teased. Kang Tian was too lazy to pay attention to him. Ever since the incident with Wang Ting, he had already looked down on relationships and was only focused on cultivating the truth and attaining the Tao. What's more, he and Flower Thinking Wrong were just casual acquaintances. Darkness approached and the sky gradually darkened. In the house, Kang Tian adjusted his breath, took a Yuan condensation pill, and entered into cultivation. This condensing Yuan pill was even more advanced than the returning Yuan pill. It was specially designed to help cultivators at the peak of the ninth level of the foundation, establishment to compress their true essence. Kang Tian had traveled all the way from the heavy iron city, and halfway there, he had refined those herbs that he had collected into a pill. With the help of this Yuan condensation pill, Kang Chon's speed of compressing the true essence in his body was also much faster. And in just a month's time, he had cultivated from the early stage of the third turn to the peak of the third turn. At this moment, the yellow true essence in Kang Chon's body had already been compressed to the extreme and was transforming towards green. 
Once it transformed into green, then he would have entered the fourth turn realm. Originally, although Kang Tian had already reached the peak of the third turn, it would take about 10 days to enter the fourth turn. But after the battle with Wu Fei, his true essence suffered from stimulation. And now that he had taken this condensation pill, he immediately felt like he was going to make a breakthrough. It seems that fighting is the fastest way to cultivate. Kang Tian thought in his heart, number one to so many cultivators wanted to break into the cultivation world, only by meeting battles non. Stop could they be baptized in battle and reach a higher realm. Like his grandfather, he had reached the peak of the foundation establishment stage early on, but had never been able to step into the Jidan stage. The reason for this was that he had been living in seclusion for many years and had not experienced the stimulation of battle, causing his cultivation to stagnate. Between thoughts, Kang Tian continued to compress the true essence in his body with the power of the condensation dam. The true essence in his body emitted a blinding light, causing a faint glow to emanate from outside his body, illuminating the house. After an unknown amount of time, Kang Tian's body violently erupted with a burst of green light. And as he wrenched his eyes open, his eyes unexpectedly appeared to glow radiantly. Finally, I've reached the fourth turn. A flash of excitement appeared in Kang Chan's eyes as he felt that he was one step closer to his goal of the Nine Revolutions Golden Dan. There were still two years to go before the Heavenly Tao Sect's Disciple Acceptance Ceremony, and according to his current cultivation speed, he was confident that he would be able to form the Nine Revolutions Golden Dan within two years. A. Hey, there's someone. Suddenly, Kang Chan's eyes condensed. A faint killing chance was detected by him, and with it came a black light that attacked and killed him from outside the window. The window touched the black light and was corroded rapidly. HMPH. Kang Chan snorted coldly. The green light around him reappeared. The matchless energy blocked the black light. The contact of the two energies didn't make a shocking explosion sound. Instead, that black energy wordlessly invaded Kang Chan's body and began to devour his true essence. Sure enough, it's corpse chi, the star sucking technique. Kang Chion didn't have the slightest surprise or worry in his eyes. He let out a cold smile and operated the star absorbing grand technique. Instantly, that black energy was absorbed and transformed by him. After doing this, Kang Chion scurried out of the house, his eyes probing into the direction from which that black light attacked. Swish. A black shadow disappeared in the darkness of the night. Kang Chan smiled coldly and chased after him. For those who wanted him dead, he had always not left his hand behind. Moreover, from that corpse Chi, he already knew where the other party came from. Only experts of the corpse catching sect possessed this kind of terrifying corpse Chi. In that case, the corpse catching faction was afraid that they already knew about the fact that the stronghold of Heavy Iron City had been eradicated by him. In the darkness of the night, Kang Chon locked onto a black shadow and chased after it, chasing it all the way out of the Haoyu residence, appearing in an uninhabited wooded area, at which time the black shadow also stopped. Kang Chon also saw clearly the person in front of him, the other party and the black-robed person encountered at the beginning of the same. A black robe shrouded the whole body, Faced with a familiar ghost face mask. You are from the corpse catching sect. Kang Tion asked with his mouth. But in his heart, he was already sure. Not bad, kid. You killed my corpse catching sect disciples and still dare to appear in Fengdu City in a big way. You really don't want to live. The black robed man let out a hoarse voice. Kang Tion felt a wave of nausea. How come all the people from the corpse catching sect had this voice? It sounded creepy since you know all about it. Then don't want to leave alive either. Kang Chon sneered. Arrogant, the black-robed man was furious, and countless black rays of light asterisk 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 around his body were directed at Kang Chon. Sculptor's little skill. Kang Chon operated the star-absorbing technique. The terrifying devouring power reappeared. These intimidating corpse, she were absorbed 
and refined by him one by one. Not only did he not get injured, but he also increased his cultivation. How did you? The black-robed man was incomparably shocked, his two eyes glaring. Go to hell and ask the god of death. What greeted the black-robed man was a huge palm. The terrifying power made the black. Robed man instantly despair. He realized that he had seriously underestimated the youth in front of him. But he no longer had a chance. This black-robed man's strength was much stronger than the black-robed man at the beginning. And if he allowed him to summon a zombie, he was even more powerful than Wu Fei. But with the lesson learned from the last time, this time Kang Chon directly used the heaven escaping hand to settle the black robed man in one go, so that he did not have a chance to summon. The divine ability Kang Chon, the heaven escaping hand, did not want to be exposed for the time being, so he did not use it when he fought with Wu Fei. But there was no need to keep it for a dead man. After packing up the things left behind by the black robed man, Kang Chong re-entered the Haoyu residence. At this time, the sky was already brightening, and fish belly white appeared in the east. After returning to the Haoyu residence, Kang Chong checked the things he had retrieved from the black robed man's body. Apart from the familiar ghost face mask, there were also some netherworldly pills, and magic treasures, all of which were of little use to him. These yin and evil things were treasures for devilish and evil cultivators. But for righteous cultivators they were poison. They simply couldn't be touched. And, if they were found out, they were even more suspected of messing with the devil. After all, the Great Tang Country was the territory of the Heavenly Tao Sect, and the Heavenly Tao Sect was the number one force of the righteous path in the cultivation world. The existence of devilish cultivators was absolutely not allowed here. It seems that a trip to Mount Fendu must be made. Kang Tion put away these things and frowned lightly, a contemplative look in his eyes. He felt the need to explore the corpse catching sect. Hell knows where they had hidden Ant King's corpse. However, before that, let's search Fengdu City first. This place is so close to the corpse catching faction. It must have a corpse catching faction stronghold as well. Maybe Ant King and their corpses are placed here. Thinking of the black robed man who sneaked up on him last night. Kang Chion thought that this Fendu city also had a stronghold of the corpse catching sect. Otherwise, how could he have been discovered by the corpse catching sex people just as soon as he had entered the city? This efficiency was too high. When he thought of it, Kang Chion meditated to recover the real energy consumed in performing the heaven escaping hands. And then he prepared to leave Hao Yu residence. But he didn't want to meet Hua Huan Yong at the entrance which was really some fate. Hua Hurong was wearing a long white dress today, and during her light steps, her shoulder-length hair fluttered in the wind, with an extraordinary style. Kang Chion suddenly felt a light in front of his eyes, dressed in a white dress Hua Huan Yong. Coupled with her world-class appearance, it is really like a fairy descending to the earth. Flower thinking Rong saw Kang Chion in a hurry. A trace of curiosity flashed in her bright eyes and she couldn't help but ask softly where is Prince Kang Chon going in such a hurry? Kang Chon let the beauty in front of him his concentration for a moment then he came back to his senses and sighed in his heart no wonder that so many young handsome men were fascinated by this woman even if he were to be replaced if he was in contact with this woman for a long time it was inevitable that he would develop a feeling of love and adoration. After all, he was also a normal man. However, he had important things on his mind at the moment. He was not in the mood to chat with a beautiful woman, so he said. So it's Flower Fairy. I want to build a competent weapon, and I was about to look for a foundry master in Fendu City. Kang Chon made an excuse. Although the other party was a beautiful woman, he was not in the mood to appreciate it right now. Oh, Flower Thinking Wrong was a little surprised when she heard this. A pair of beautiful eyebrows slightly arched. Her beautiful eyes glanced at the black long knife behind Kang Chon. And she queried, The long knife behind your son is already extraordinary. I'm afraid that this entire Fengdu city can't find which one of the Foundry Masters is able to. 
create such a grade of weaponry? Why did your son give up the long and abandon the short? Kangshan heard this and froze. He cursed himself for finding this what excuse are. Good thing he was quick-witted. He immediately found a way to cope with it. He told Hua Huanyong that he wanted to build a pair of gloves. Speaking of which he really needed a pair of gloves. If there was a good pair of gloves, he would certainly be able to double the power of the Overlord Fist, which wasn't really an excuse anymore. So that's how it is, Gongzi's boxing is indeed formidable. Slave has yet to see such a formidable boxing style. Flower thinking wrong had a dazed look on her face. She had seen Kang Chon's boxing. Yesterday, it could be completely described with the word unrivaled.